Hello, and welcome back to the Snook Nook. This week, I had the opportunity to sit down with Krista Stearns, the CEO of Mountain Mural Tours. Krista was inspired to start her company and highlight the work of local Asheville artists after experiencing the Bogota graffiti tour in Colombia on a trip to South America with her family. You'll hear a little bit of background noise. Her sweet dog was chewing a toy near the camera at the beginning of the interview, but that will go away quickly. Please enjoy. Welcome back to the Snook Nook. I am Simone Snook, Realtor with Unicorn Realty at Fathom, and I am here with Krista Stearns. She is the CEO of Mountain Mural Tours. Yay! Thank you so much for being with me today, yeah, Krista. Thanks for coming over. I'm really excited to talk <laughs> with you. So first of all, tell me a little bit about where you're from originally and how you made your way to Asheville. Okay, well, I'm actually, I'm not a local, but I moved here in 1996. So I actually moved to Asheville before it was a tourist town. Mm -hmm. So I got to watch it, the sleepy little mountain town, turn into a booming tourist destination that sees 11.5 million visitors a year. Wow. Uh-huh, so I got to watch it all transform. I mean, when I moved here, downtown was boarded up. Wow. So it was actually scary to go downtown. Uh -huh. So I, like, I didn't go downtown. You know, it was really a different city. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like being, I know, not technically a local, but being here as long as you have, you yeah. you get the cred. Right. Thanks. <laughs> um, what gave you the idea to start uh, Mountain Mural Tours? And tell me a little bit about your business. So that was, that was kind of my inspiration for my business, was I watched Asheville turn into this booming tourist town where our population basically triples every weekend and I kind of saw how a lot of the longtime locals like me were reacting to this transition and how we were getting kind of frustrated with it mm -hmm. and because it's you know we couldn't find, didn't have a place to park downtown anymore mm -hmm. we had to wait in line for every restaurant and you know like it was kind of it took a toll on the locals and so I was like, okay, so if we're going to be a tourist town, this obviously is going to continue to be true for mm -hmm. our community. How can we do tourist, healthy tourism that celebrates what is unique and vibrant about our city and what the locals do to make it so colorful and to tell the story of our city and the legacy of our city? Tell me about some of the... Yeah, the different tours that you do. And so I've been getting out. So I, I started to get out and get to know all of the street artists in Asheville. And we have a lot of them. Most of them do live here. And uh, kind of just to get to know their stories about how they got inspired to create public art. And the whole point of public art is that it's not something locked up in a gallery or museum. It's there for everyone to enjoy. And it's kind of there to start conversations with people. In fact, interestingly enough, since I started this business, and I've been only I've been only in operation since June, I have taken more locals than tourists. Really? Because the locals are like, I drive by this stuff every day and I don't know anything about it and I want to know because it kind of it kind of personalizes our neighborhoods. It kind of, you know, it tells a lot of the history of Asheville. Mm -hmm. Artists incorporate a lot of history in what in their creations and and they tells the stories of Asheville. So it's so people, it's funny because locals really want to know that. And they and it and it makes the conversation a lot more. I mean, they ask a lot of different questions than tourists ask me when we're doing the tour. You know, they have a lot of different questions because they know more of the history of, of Asheville and mm -hmm. the culture of Asheville. So how many tours do you do a week typically? Or does so it right vary? now I'm usually doing uh, one to two a week. Well, I do private tours which I actually have a lot of those this month. I'm mean, actually, it's great. I've been doing private tours for our, some of our retirement communities here oh, in Asheville. I'm doing three for Deerfield Estates right now. Yeah. It's so fun because the older people kind of like, I don't know, they have a different like joy from the experience because I think they're really happy to get out and about, yes. you know, uh-huh. And they, and they, a lot of them, you know, aren't from Asheville, so they don't know Asheville that well. So they really enjoy learning about Asheville. Oh, that's yeah. so fun. Uh -huh. And a lot of them are, are artists themselves, and so they love talking about art. I think it's, cool. yeah, I think it's just learning about the stories of the artists is really mm -hmm. what they want to know. Mm -hmm. And and I talk a lot about 
how the businesses in Asheville are motivated to commission the art because that costs mm -hmm. money to commission art for your building mm -hmm. and why businesses, certain businesses are motivated to do that. So as essentially a local, what are some of your favorite spots uh, to go to in Asheville? Okay. Well, so Triangle Park has been probably one of the most popular spots I do on my tour. And it's a spot that a lot of locals don't know. Well, I'm amazed at yeah. how many people are like, I never knew that yeah. this existed. You know, and then I get to tell the black history of Asheville, which is super powerful. Um, of course, other we have other great tour companies like Hood Huggers mm -hmm. that, that do that and, their tour. and then some. But it's really, I mean, I think it's very enlightening for a lot of people that they don't know that history. So that's mm -hmm. been a, definitely a favorite for me on the tour. And I love the Lexington Bridge because it's a collaboration of so many artists that came together and actually had to raise money to, to, to be able to do that mural because it wasn't a city project. Mm -hmm. But they did. They raised money and they worked on it for months and months and months. And um and and they got to collaborate all together on the design and it tells the kind of the history of Asheville it's kind of like past present and future and yeah so it, I think that's one of my favorite spots to take people to mm -hmm. definitely yeah I have the the chores what do you enjoy doing well I'm raising two children here in Asheville mm -hmm. yes I have one in college and one in Asheville high oh, wow. Yeah, I'm a big outdoors person, mm -hmm. so I I love, I took up mountain biking at age 50, and I love it. Oh, <laughs> <for you. laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, but I just, I think the one thing that I forgot to highlight in this talk is, is the River Arts District, mm -hmm. because I, I start all of my tours there, because the River Arts is the center of street art in Asheville, mm -hmm. because the foundation works so hard uh, they had to kind of battle it out with the city for them to allow them to create a street art gallery there. And that is like every artist connected to Asheville has a piece mm. in the River Arts, which is so neat. I, I mean, it's that. so prolific. I mean, it's almost like, I think I might actually do a whole separate tour where I just do the foundation because oh, there's so just cool. so many artists there from Asheville and from other places, mm -hmm. you know, which is really neat. I mean, it's just so funny. So many people have said to me, like, nobody's done this before you. And I'm like, right? <laughs> <laughs> because but then the whole mural phenomenon in Asheville has been more, has been more recent. It's been more like yeah. the last 10 years. Yeah. So okay. what kind of what inspired me to start the business was, so I had the West End Bakery for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And when I sold it, I pulled my kids out of school and we traveled South America for eight months. And uh, we one of we did many many tours all over South America, but one of our favorites was the Bogota graffiti tour. <sighs> and you look at a country like Colombia that has been ravaged by civil wars and drug cartels, and I mean they've just had they've had a really hard mm -hmm. ride of it. And then you look at the art that comes out of that; mm -hmm. it's mind blowing. And it was so funny when we came back home to Asheville. My kids were kind of like they were noticing how many more murals we have in Asheville, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Why doesn't anybody do that kind of tour here?" And I was like, <laughs> "That's what we need. Like, they will." Uh -huh. <laughs> we got to do three months in Peru, uh, two in Ecuador, and two in Colombia, oh, wow. and cool. like ten days in Chile. Yeah. Amazing. And now my uh, oldest is fluent. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Uh -huh. that's I recommend wonderful. it. It's a really good experience for kids before they're in high school. So where we can find out, find more information. Okay. So my website, I actually just got this big redo on my website. So I, I'm excited to, for people to visit it and you can book tours directly on my website. Um, it goes through a booking portal called Fair Harbor. And uh, so it's really easy to use. You can choose which tour you want. I also, yeah, I started a bachelorette party tour because oh, we're such a wedding We town, really are. Right? So I was like, oh. <laughs> and yeah. it's so amazing to me how many of our breweries cider houses and wine and like plea winery mm -hmm. have art on them so nice. you know so it yes. was really easy to do yeah <laughs> that is the perfect pairing uh-huh yeah yeah so i call it street art and sips Ooh, <laughs> well, krista thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me yeah. today i'm so excited to take a tour awesome check out and the website is mountainmuraltours.com check uh -huh. it out book uh -huh. a tour and see the amazing arts that our vibrant city has all throughout it yeah all right. Oh, hello. Yes, you're such a good pup. <laughs> <laughs> I know my dog had a good part of it. <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, well, thank you again. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.